Aiden Fry, 25-21 and one at Iowa. Last year, they went to the Peach Bowl. Give them a gain of one, it'll be third and 25. Well, for those people who uh, are vowed to field position, this is a good start for Penn State. They got him buried deep. It's third and long, and they can do a lot of things on defense. Long your quarterback, Gil the tailback, Ranger is the fullback. J.C. Jordan is the wingback. Dave Moritz and Mike Huford are the receivers. They're going to punt on third down, and they barely get it away. Ball taken, got a chance for a return. It's Mark Robinson at the 33-yard line. Bob White put a big rush on the punter, Tom Nickel, and almost blocked it on a quick kick. George, you it don't see that kick. Very often. It actually was a quick kick, Stan. They sneak Nickel into the ball game. Now Williams goes to a wing right. Wide side to the left side. Strang, bootleg. He throws, and it is caught for a touchdown. Dean Domidio, the tight end, and the Indy Lions have scored. Third down and eight. Draw play. Ranger, first down, 30, and out to the 34-yard line. At the pen, at the Iowa 34, Long dropping back, blitz on, got time, throwing to the flat that is caught for a first down and knocked out of bounds is Bill Brohammer, the wing back. It's an obvious throwing down. Third down and 11. Long straight drop. Not much of a rush. Now he's rushed out of there. Scepter's after him. Here comes Hines. Long throws over the middle and it is caught by Moritz. First down. 15, 10, 5. Knocked out of bounds at the one yard line. Set it in motion. Phillips, touchdown, Iowa. Eddie Phillips on the one yard run. First down and 10 at the Penn State 42. Long just get rid of it. Rid of it. He's got his man. Owen Gill. 5.05 to play, first quarter. Iowa, Penn State are tied. Iowa with a big edge in first downs. Motion, Harmon to the near side. Play fake, long to throw. Wide open is Gill in the flat. 30, 25, 20, 15, and knocked down at the. Well, they're going to now throw him down to the 17-yard line, but the game is good for 15 with another Iowa first. High backfield with Fred Bush in there at fullback. Long rolling again. Throwing in the corner. Got his man. It's complete at the four-yard line and a first down to Bill Brohammer. Not helping. First and goal. Gill. Touchdown, Iowa. Spray looking, throwing in the end zone. And it is incomplete. Touchdown. No, he got it. Kenny Jackson. That was a certain. Did I just say he's the best flanker? Watch Kenny Jackson. Third down and goal from inside the one. Quarterback sneak. Touchdown, Penn State. Field first and 10, Penn State. Strang will throw. That time. Well, throwing over the middle, he's got his man up at the 40-yard line and up to the 42-yard line. D.J. Dozier. Fumble. Out of the backfield. The fumble, and Iowa has recovered. The pass was good for seven yards, but Dozier fumbled, and Ron Hawley, the free safety, number 19, makes the recovery. Arm in motion. This is Gill. He's got a hold of the 25 and down to the 20-yard line. Going to be a play of that kid. Third down and goal from the 27-yard line. Big play for both clubs. Long. They're coming for him. They're coming. They He's hit. He throws. Oh! And touchdown, Iowa. Eddie Phillips with a touchdown reception. They had him. And on third and goal from the 27-yard line, Stand. Iowa scores. The cornerback pulled up. Now watch, watch. They thought he was going to go down. The cornerback stops. Let's him run it in for the touchdown. Now. Mike Zordich had him. And twice in a row, they let him go. Can you imagine that? Third and goal at the 27-yard line. And they score a touchdown. That's what they mean. The play has never stopped until the whistle blows. Nickel to attempt the extra point. It is up and good. Penn State has given Iowa a big gift. Should have wrapped that one in a big red ribbon. There's a timeout in the action. The score, Penn State 21, Iowa 21. 10. Strang, 
Looking, throwing in the end zone. Touchdown! Kevin Bow. Gives Penn State a second and four. Just outside the Iowa 48. Here's the give and a draw on the football, and Iowa recovers. Looks like a mix-up on the handoff. Bruce Gear, number 94, recovered. Second and ten. Long. He's firing a home run ball, but Ritz is wide open. It is caught down at the five-yard line. This time, Iowa had a first and goal. They ended up third and goal at the 27, and they scored a touchdown on a touchdown pass. Long on the option keeps, and he's in for the touchdown. They show Penn State the option for the first time in the game. Penn State confused by it. And Iowa, after the Dozier fumble, goes 51 yards for the touchdown. Third down and seven. In the eye, slot right. Oh, he's got him. Gray. He's hit. And they're going to call it a fumble? They're calling it a fumble, and Iowa has the ball. I'd like to see that again. Well... They got plenty. They got to go back and start going after him again. That's Granger, a big hole. 10 5 touchdown, Iowa. Granger with a 23 yard touchdown run, and Iowa has scored their third touchdown of the third quarter. Stan, that was just a counter trap. Now, watch this. There's a little counter play here. We saw him going through. They pulled and trapped on, his, on, a, on a counter play, and Granger just tiptoed. Nice running. Iowa's up again. Minute 44 to play, third quarter. Took Iowa two plays to score. Nichols' kick is up and good. And Iowa has the lead again. Third down and a long five. Drang rolls. He's in trouble. Now he's going to be sacked way back at the 33-yard line, and that may knock Penn State out of field goal range on top of everything. Tony Wankin, 8.41 to play. Once again, the Penn State defense is called on to get the ball back. Long, he throws along the sideline, and Harmon makes the reception. He's gone for a touchdown. Mark Fruhan is beaten terribly. A pass that should have been batted down, let alone intercepted. It is a 77-yard touchdown pass. Chuck Long to Ronnie Harmon, and Penn State will lose their third in a row. Probably try to get Kenny Jackson here. They got him in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Nichols, big hole. He's in. Touchdown, Penn State. Skeeter Nichols on the six-yard run, and the Nittany Lions have drawn to within a touchdown. Here comes the two-point conversion. Penn State asked the ball be placed on the far side hash mark, so the wide side is to the right side. Strang, rolling, looking, throwing, and it is dropped. Kenny Jackson, of all people, dropped it. Well, Penn State obviously would go for it on fourth down if they're not successful here on third. And so they got single coverage on Kenny Jackson, wide to the left. Just get the first down, just an out. There we go. He sacked. Hufford again. They did not get one point out of those two sequences, which from an emotional standpoint would not necessarily have locked the game away, but it certainly would have given them a big yeah. advantage. Well, you, well, anytime you turn the ball over, you're in trouble, but you ha your defense has to get it back for you once in a while. You know what I mean? You know, they you got a bunch of young kids, and they're playing pretty good offensive football for you. A uh, veteran defense, you know, with a, a pretty good reputation nationally. They got to get the ball back. Well, certainly, they have to control the other team's offense where they don't stuff it down their throat. And Iowa just has stuffed our defense today. Penn State has given up 100 points in three games. Fourth down and 15. Last chance. Jackson in motion. Stray to throw. He looks. He's firing the bomb for Jackson on the sideline. It is intercepted at the 10 yard line, and that'll do it. And that'll do it. Well, Penn State in position to win this football game. All the opportunity in the world. And for the first time in his career, Joe Paterno has lost three games in a row. Penn State, 34. Hayden Fry and Joe Paterno shaking hands at midfield. 
That's the end of the game. The final score, Iowa 42, Penn State 34. We'll be back right after this.